Kelly, uh, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for August 4th until 10th. Let's take a look. That's going to be coming your way this week, okay? All right. Now, let's take a look if this week will be bringing you much greater abundance and... Hmm, happiness, which is, I feel like it's not going to be applicable to some. All right, anyway, well, Leo looks like there will be like a victory or celebration or it's like there's something that you will be a reason for you to throw some you know, like, it's just like an intimate dinner party or like a small dinner for your friends, okay, or gathering. And I feel like you will also be announcing two things, okay. One is about the promotion and then one will be, some of you will be having a baby, okay. Or some of you will be um, getting married for single because it was already taken. So... Mm-hmm. And your family will be the first one who will be greeting you and who will be um be happy for you. Okay. Uh, but I feel like uh, some of you needs to move away or move out of your comfort zone. Hmm. Especially if you used to live with your family or with your parents or something like that. It seems like this is the time that you will be on your own. You'll be going on your new adventure. You're going to be going on your... It's like you'll be embracing your independence. Or you will finally be able to have your own place. Hmm. Uh, even though it's going to be like a, a little bit hard and difficult because... I feel like it's going to be really hard for you to leave your parents or if you still live with them, okay? So, but you will be promising them that you will be helping them financially with all of the obligations and stuff. And um, you will still be taking part in, the, in some of their medical bills and stuff like that, especially your mother. Now, there is also somebody from the past who will be coming back into your life or who will be winding off your path. And this is something that you need to, you know, that you need to reflect. Since that some of you are either, you know, like really settling down for good or you're getting married. Now, this is the reason why you're going to be going back and forth. Okay? That this person that you used to love so much have come back in the wrong time where you have already said yes to the person who offered you their you know their kind of love and their kind of thing and uh, it seems like you know they will be trying to really give you the life that you really want and that you really need but yet somehow this person that's still in your heart and that you're still confused about i feel like this is a fire sign or a or an earth sign okay and with the changes that you're thinking or that you really have in mind by the way your work is really gonna be getting stronger okay and it will be pulling through and there will be two types of success that will be coming your way. Plus, you will also be traveling in another country. Or you will be sent out to another country to attend a very important event. So, you don't know what to say. You don't know how to answer this person from the past who will be approaching you again and will try to win your heart. 
Whereas, I feel like this person is also traveling in that place where you're gonna be. So, this will be an additional confusion for you because you don't know if you should go. You don't know if you should be honest with your, with your fiancé or if you should be honest with your partner or something like that. Because obviously, they're gonna be really jealous and they're gonna be really uh, worried, you know? And... But if you're already pregnant, then, you know, uh, you, your partner is already rest assured that you're not going to be going anywhere. Then I feel like there's nothing that you need to worry. Except that this week will also be a little bit more stressful because of the deadlines that you need to finish off right before you go and right before you leave. But, you know, but this whole thing, it's like it's going to be really a bizarre week for you because... The person from the past that you really love so much and the person that you really love right now who's ready to offer you the life that you really wanted and the promotion and the travel and then your your parents or your family, the people who's relying on you. It's like it's it, it's like you have to deal with all of this in one full week. Okay. Which is, I don't feel like it's going to be really a bad week, but it will be like a lot of worries, a lot of confusions. It will be a mix of happiness and confusion and, you know, and stuff like that. And I feel like you're not going to, you're going to end up not telling your, your fiance or your, you know, your partner about this person from the past because you don't want to give them anything to worry about. Or you don't want to give them anything to think that you're not, you know, that you're... You're, you still have some hang-ups from this person, which is, it's true, but you don't want to give them that impression, you know? So, you will be consulting an air sign and a water sign about this whole thing, which is, I feel like this water sign is gay, or somebody who's very feminine, okay? Um, I feel like these are your friends or your your siblings, and... You will be feeling a little bit caught up because whatever they're going to be telling you is something that you don't want to do. And whatever that is right is something that you will try to battle not doing. Okay? Or you will try to control yourself. So, I feel like it's not that you're going to be betraying your partner or something like that, but then... Balance your options because you feel like, why? Why now? Why now that I've already accepted this person's offer? And why now that, you know, I'm finally decided to move on to the next phase of my life with this person who filled up your absence, you know, during the time that you just left me alone? But you can't really help not to feel that l longing. Okay, with this person who's coming back into your life again. And you will be struggling not to communicate, not to reply to the text messages, or not to reply to the emails and stuff like that. And you feel like, you know, you're already cheating or you're already betraying the person who loves you so much and you don't know what to do right now. Okay, so you want to set aside this, this issue and prepare for your trip or prepare for something that you're about to do. And you're very much excited. I feel like some of you will be traveling in a country that starts with letter V. Okay. And country or city. And you will be very excited. Because um, I feel like you've always wanted to see this country or city. And um, you were thinking like you want to have some time alone think things through well not to change your mind but to reflect and to clear out your head and to you know like gain some more clarity have a little breather but unfortunately you will be surprised that this person will also be in that same country or same city so this will be adding up more confusion and more stuff into your head that like, is this really a sign do I really have to do this? Am I really going to go through this? Or am I really going to, you know, um, 
like have to make a choice or should I just dump the other and you know take this person back or what you know he will have a very active exciting thrilling and adventurous week ahead of you and not to mention that some of you whatever it is that you will be sealing or you know getting a contract or signing an agreement or whatever it is it will be leading you to recognition in the month of november okay or to become the employee of the year or employee of the month your career is really soaring up high okay good for those you know like good for those who's been waiting for their right opportunity and right blessings and abundance because definitely it is coming to you starting this week all right anyway that's it for you for this week leo and if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you